Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. Another episode, another epic build. Stay a while and listen. I love fantasy buildings, guys. I love to create fortresses and castles. I'm doing another commission and uh, my client asked for a big Warhammer fortress. One of the parts that bothers me most is the embellishment of the battlements, guys. This is very tricky, it's very difficult to create your free hand. The routine of creating the same pieces all the time can be very boring, guys. So I created a jig. I created a template, I draw it, and basically I asked to Giuliano Paladini from Fantasy Labyrinth to create me a jig. And he comes out with this. This will allow me to create very fast some beautiful embellishment for my castle. You will see it during this episode, okay? I want to show you how this process can be beautiful, fast and effective in just few passages. We will create a watchtower starting by now. Craft on! I love this moment of the project, when at the beginning of everything I grab a completely new and fresh piece of XPS foam. <laughs> I cut off a chunk large enough to be able to make the walls of the tower. Thanks to the proxen, I proceed very quickly to cut 4 slices about 1 cm thick, 11 cm wide and about 19.5 uh, cm high. On each of those slices I go to create the brickwork. At first I proceed with light cuts made with the cutter. I engrave the XPS foam of about a millimeter, not more. This will help me create even very small bricks with my ballpoint pen. Once my entire wall is shredded I go to create the actual brick pattern. You can see that I try to give some variability to the thickness of the brick lines and the sides. I use the aluminum foil technique to create the texture of the stone. For a deeper understanding of this topic you can watch my video on the brick technique. At this point I proceed to give depth with the use of a flat screwdriver. I go to press only some sides of some bricks in different directions. As you can see here, this will give the illusion of work done with individual bricks. Having obtained my four walls, I put them together with the use of some reinforcements inside the corners. At this moment I don't worry about the aesthetics of the edges, I'll take care of it later. Next, I begin with the addition of the details. I prepare buttress with a rather simple shape to add to the base of the tower. They have been cut to slightly different sizes for a more realistic appearance and have an angle on the top of 45 degrees.
I also add a door and other details prepared in the resin. For how to make your own molds, I suggest to watch my video on molding with silicone and resin cloning. Now, finally, we can try the template. This is a prototype, guys, created especially for me, based on my design by Giuliano Palladino of Fantasy Labyrinth. Yes, the same Giuliano who collaborates with Shifting Lens. Thanks to this template, we can easily make corbel and machiculations, parts that are uh, very characteristic and important for our castle. I designed this template to be used horizontally and vertically on the same piece. In reality, it is very difficult to be precise in vertical cutting, as the different tension of the proxy and thread at the base with respect to the center does not guarantee sufficient precision. However, I decided to solve this technical problem in the best possible way by using my faithful arch cutter for the vertical cut and uh, here is the result. Now we just have to glue these parts to the end of the tower, cutting the corners at 45 degrees and that's it. Next, we take care of the edges of the tower. I remove some blocks thanks to my precision cutter, creating holes as big as a single brick. This step has a better yield the more blocks you remove. Now I'm going to insert individual XPS foam bricks into the spaces created. This will give me the illusion of a single construction on all four sides. I cut away the excess material and that's it. The battlements of the tower are created with a single piece of XBS foam cut to sides. I create floor texture quickly with this textured roll from Green Stuff World. This stuff works great on very dense XPS foam. Everything you see in this video was done with techniques and procedures designed specifically to speed up the creative process. This does not mean that everything cannot be done by hand, and if you look in my channel you will find dozens of videos that show every single technique. Other details? Here you can see how I insert a hatch that I created in uh, XPS form myself and which I then clone with my silicone and resin casting technique. Next, I proceed to increase the texture of my stands, first with the aluminum foil technique, then removing some fragments with my precision cutter. I glue the floor of the battlements and add the laces, also those are created by hand with XPS foam and then clone with silicone and resin to exponentially increase the speed of the work.
we are ready for priming. I use about 40% black acrylic paint, 20% water and 40% Mod Podge. This radar diluted type of priming has a protective effect on XPS foam and allows the resin elements to be washed and prepared for painting. This time you will witness a basic coloring. This piece will be placed inside a giant Warhammer Fortress. So the final aging effects, thanks to washes and dry brushes, will be added at the end of the entire project for greater cohesion. I add baking soda to the basic neutral gray, not too much to avoid damaging the details, but enough to give some texture and make the XPS foam rock hard. To learn more about this technique, watch the first episode on the construction of my merchant's house. I use different shades of grey, from the darkest to the lightest. Then I go to color the individual bricks with brown and beige. Finally, I stain the areas in contact with water with green, such as near the ground and under the battlements. I fix a couple of laces that have glued badly and add some basic flocking. And that's it. This tower is a prototype and was mainly used to test techniques and materials that I will use on the way to the construction of the big fortress. I need your help guys, I need to find the name for the fortress I'm building. Can you give me a hand? Enter an epic name in the comments below this video and stay tuned, so much more is to come. Ok guys, this is it for today, remember this is just the beginning of a big big project. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or Paypal and uh, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!